gentlemen of the press, this media briefing is a continuation of our series of briefings aimed at updating you with the successes this unit had recorded in suppressing smuggling and preventing revenue laws within the Southwest region. In demonstrating the commitment of the service towards safeguarding the nation's economy and recalcitrant saboteurs, officers and men of the unit have remained resolute in enforcing the customs extant laws. While enforcing these laws, dubious importers and traders were either made to pay the maximum duty payable through the usual of demand notices or made to forfeit their goods to the federal government by way of seizing them. You may recall that foreign tomato paste used clothing, foreign parboiled rice, importation of vehicles through the land borders, used tires, arms and ammunition without end user certificates, among others, are items that fall under the import prohibition list. Their importation threatens our fragile economy. 91 seizures were recorded within the month of August, with 12 suspects in connection with some of the seizures. Worthy of note is the fact that apart from the cartons of coding syrup we showcased during the last briefing, additional cartons of products of the product were again intercepted, making a total of 394 cartons seized within the period under review. Notable among other seizures are 6,911 by 50 kg bags of foreign parboiled rice, over 11 truck load of rice, 345 kg of Indian ham, 486 cartons of frozen poultry products, 368 pieces of used pneumatic tires, 13 used vehicles, popularly called Tokumbo vehicles, 32 cartons of expired batteries. One by 40 foot container found to contain one used Corolla, 49 pieces of car rims, five, five, 552 pieces of used car tires, 205 pieces of used truck tires, and 32 pieces of motorcycles. 292 bales of used clothing. 13,000 525 liters of premium motor spirit. The attention of the public is hereby drawn to the dangers posed by importation of India M, otherwise known as cannabis sativa, because of its effect on criminal minded people and our youth. Similarly, the importation of foreign parboy rice and poultry products is an adversity to the economy of, of, of our local farmers. Smuggling of prohibited items such as used shoes, illicit drugs, used clothing, and used tires are giving serious health concerns. On our part, we shall continue to partner with well-meaning citizens by soliciting for timely and useful information to curb smuggling. Why we advise members of the public to be guided by the import and export provision list for compliance. These seizures recorded within this month of August have a cumulative duty paid value of 813 million 58,345 naira. It is sad to note that some Nigerians who pay all duties, levies payable to custom authorities of other countries they import from, while they make conscious effort to evade such payments into federal government coffers. Yeah, management, as we have them today, they are working assiduously to ensure that they stem the tide of uh, those people running 
against the tide by not paying uh, accurate duty. You see, a smuggler has a reason for doing certain things. There is no any other thing other than commercial gain. They don't want to pay government. And that was why I stated in my speech that it is highly unpatriotic for someone to choose to pay duty of whatever he is importing to the other country there and refuse to pay to his own country. Uh, like I just mentioned, this is one of the two trucks that was given to us by the headquarters of the Nigeria Postal Service through the benevolence of the CDC and its management to, to reduce our stress on seizures. You can imagine, this is one, this is two, and they are brand new. So, now, fearing abandoned seizures now wouldn't be a problem to us again. And we have a crane. It's at the other side, you will see it. Whereby, if we intercept any truck, maybe the driver run away, or maybe there's mechanical fault, we can use that crane to tow it down here. And it's done. I can, is at the headquarters. I cannot know the cost. All I know is that I have been given to ease my operations.